Wall Street finished slightly lower on Wednesday after briefly entering positive territory in a late-day rebound, but stocks were unable to sustain the rally as investors couldn't shake fears the Federal Reserve would keep interest rates higher for longer. The Dow, S&P 500, and Nasdaq all ended down fractionally after employment data showed U.S. labor demand remained strong, potentially giving the Fed reason to stay aggressive in its fight against inflation. Eric Sterner is chief investment officer at Apollon Wealth Management. The markets are, are continue to be in a tough spot as the Fed um, is looking to hike rates, and we have to tame and, and bring down inflation to normal levels. And while we saw you know, a, a rally over the past, a strong rally over the last two days, I, I think of it nothing more than really a dead cat bounce and, and that just investors were reacting to, to oversold conditions. But we have, uh, I think, a long way to go from an inflation perspective and the Fed raising heights, uh, rates perspective before we see a sustainable rally that uh, hopefully will trigger a new bull market. Energy stocks jumped after OPEC and its allies agreed to cut oil production by 2 million barrels a day, or 2 percent of global demand, the deepest cut to output in more than two years. Shares of Twitter lost momentum a day after surging 22 percent on Elon Musk's decision to proceed with his original offer to buy the social media company. Shares of Tesla, the electric car maker headed by Musk, fell more than 3 percent after a source told Reuters the billionaire and Twitter may soon reach an agreement to end their litigation over the $44 billion deal.